Today, we've come together to pay tributes to our beloved metal and plastic bricks. iPhone 2G, iPod Touch first generation, rip my brothers. You're in a better place now. iPhone 3G and iPod Touch second gen, I know. You're basically an iPhone 2G in a cheaper housing. And you're still here, but we all know that since Apple updated your software, nobody enjoys using you anymore. So, with this sad introduction, I welcome you guys to the fourth episode of the history of iOS. Today, we'll talk about, big surprise, iOS 4. To show you how exciting today's video will be, I'm going to show you some screenshots of the iPhone OS 1, 2 and 3 home screens. Okay, iPhone OS 1. I'll give you a second, there's a lot going on here. Okay, iPhone OS 2. It's always mind-blowing how they were able to realize so many changes in just a single year. And iPhone OS 3. A whole new OS. Okay, and now iOS 4. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this cool dog bar. Look at the wallpaper in the background. Well, 2010 has been a crazy year. Not only did Apple release the iPhone 4, a phone I would have sold not only one, but both of my kidneys for as a kid. Good for me, I've kept that thought for me and grew up in a good neighborhood. But in combination with iOS 4, this really felt like the future. I bought an iPod Touch 4th gen a few months later and was like the happiest person on this planet. But that's a whole different story. You want to know what changed next to my bank account balance? First of all, the name. This is actually the first version that was called iOS and not iPhone OS. So let's talk about the new huge advantages that changed your life back in the days, in case you didn't own an iPhone 3G. If you got one of those, your one and only new feature was that you could file a lawsuit against Apple because of massive performance and battery issues. But this only affected 15 million people, so anyway. First big thing was the new folder function. You were now able to put your one quadrillion applications into nice folders that even got auto -generated rated names. Pretty cool function to avoid to swipe for a half an hour to reach your home screen page with that exact app on. And actually it wasn't possible to set a home screen wallpaper until this very version. Besides you got an iPhone 3G or iPod Touch second generation, then it's still not possible to get rid of the black bag. Because it appears to be that this function acquires a lot of performance. At least that's Apple's explanation. Talking about functions that iPhone 3G users missed out on, of course the iPhone 3G didn't have the capacity to support the new multitasking function. Function. I think many of you might remember to hit the home button twice just to close every single app separately. This was an achievement of iOS 4. Also for the first time it featured functions like spell check, airplay, game center and FaceTime. Of course, FaceTime was only available on the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPhone 4 since the older devices didn't feature a front camera. As always, we additionally got a ton of bug fixes and we also lost our beloved plastic brick, the iPhone 3G, and its smaller brother, the iPod Touch 2nd generation on iOS 4.2.1, which is quite bad because they were still almost unusable on that version. What do you think about this iOS version? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed watching it and to subscribe to this channel. Have a great day and see you next time. Adios amigos.